In the heart of the Welsh countryside, nestled between the bustling cities of Cardiff and Newport, lies the quaint village of Usk. Its cobblestone streets wind past centuries-old buildings, each with its own tale to tell. At the heart of the village stands a centuries-old church, and just beside it, a weathered and ivy-covered house known as the Coaching House. One misty autumn evening, a group of friends decided to rent the Coaching House for a weekend getaway. The house exuded an old-world charm, with its exposed wooden beams and creaky floorboards. Excitement filled the air as they unpacked their bags, ready to create memories that would, would last, last a, a lifetime. lifetime. As, as they, they settled in, exploring the nooks and crannies of the house, they stumbled upon a dusty attic. Amidst forgotten trinkets and aging furniture, they discovered a box filled with letters tied together with a faded ribbon. The letters were postmarked decades ago and were penned by a couple named Eleanor and Thomas. The heartfelt words spoke of love and longing, a romance that had weathered the test of time. Intrigued by the find, the friends gathered around to read the letters aloud, their voices echoing through the empty attic. But as they immersed themselves in the stories of Eleanor and Thomas, a chill seemed to settle in the room. The wind outside howled mournfully, casting eerie shadows that danced across the walls. As night fell, the friends retired to their respective rooms. It was then that the unease began to take hold. The girls felt a strange apprehension, particularly when they needed to use the bathroom. They insisted that their boyfriends wait just outside the open bathroom door, feeling an irrational fear that they were being watched. Why are you all so afraid of the bathroom? The boys laughed, not fully grasping the gravity of their friend's unease. It's... it's the toilet, one of the girls stammered. It feels haunted, like someone's watching us. The boys, although skeptical, decided to indulge their girlfriend's fears. Standing just outside the bathroom door, they exchanged amused glances as their partners hurriedly finished their business. Yet as the nights went on, the unease deepened. Whispers seemed to echo through the hallways, and shadows danced just out of sight. The letters, once a romantic reminder of the past, began to feel like a haunting connection to the couple who had penned them. One night, as the group sat huddled around the fireplace, the flames casting eerie shadows on the walls, a soft knock resonated from the hallway. The laughter ceased, replaced by tense silence. Another knock followed, this time louder, and then another, as if someone were pacing outside. Who's there? One of the boys called out, his voice trembling slightly. No response came, only the persistent knocking. Gathering their courage, they cautiously approached the hallway. But to their astonishment, the knocking seemed to emanate from the bathroom door. With a shared glance, the friends pushed open the door, revealing an empty bathroom. The air felt colder, and the mirror seemed to fog up with breath that wasn't their own. The letters lay scattered across the floor, their words now a jumbled mess. As the group retreated back to the safety of the living room, the atmosphere grew increasingly tense. Footsteps echoed through the house, the sound growing louder and closer. They huddled together, their hearts pounding in unison, the sense of being watched becoming overpowering. In a burst of courage, one of the boys shouted, Who's there? Show yourself! The footsteps abruptly ceased, replaced by an eerie silence. And then, as if in response, the candles that illuminated the room flickered and died, plunging them into darkness. In the pitch-black room, fear and anticipation hung heavy. And then, a whisper, barely audible, brushed against their ears, carrying with it a mournful sigh. The friends fled the coaching house that night, leaving behind the letters and the lingering shadows. The memory of that chilling weekend would forever remain etched in their minds, a reminder that even the most charming of places can hold secrets and spirits of their own. And as they drove away from the village of Usk, the wind seemed to carry a mournful tune, a melody of love and loss that echoed through the ages. Please tell me what you think of this video. If you enjoyed it consider giving it a like, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.